Hey everybody, Erica here for my six month studio apartment update. Um, I've had about 20,000 views or something crazy on my original video about living in a studio and kind of showing off my um, apartment. And I had a couple people ask that I do an update, which at first I was like, well, what is there to update? And then I decided to do some, to do this because I've actually kind of realized a lot of positives and negatives about living in a studio since moving in here um, in January. Um, so I thought I would share that with you for those of you who are thinking of living in one because I think most people are finding my video um, when they're searching around online like I did before I moved into one and you're kind of looking for information about what studios are like to live in and what they look like and how they're set up because at least with me like I was really unsure if I was going to be able to kind of handle living in a studio um, so I looked up a lot of stuff online before I did. So for the, the real tour, you can look at my original video, um, but as far as an update goes, so I actually wrote down, because I'm a dork and I want to make sure that I remember everything, a couple of the positives and negatives of living in a studio um, that I've come to realize over the last couple months. So one of the biggest negatives is um, noise issues, at least for me it was. Make sure when you're going to move into a studio that the neighbors are fairly quiet because as you can see, there are no walls and you can't hide anywhere if you have an issue with somebody being loud outside. Um, I had an issue with one of our new neighbors partying constantly and thankfully for everybody else at least, she got evicted after a couple short weeks, but it was hard because if someone's being loud somewhere, um, you can't really get away from it. You just have to turn the TV up or buy headphones like I did because I'm a crazy old person. Um, so that was hard and also if you are a light sleeper, it is quite an adjustment um, getting used to sleeping in a studio. And I'm not a light sleeper. I can sleep through a hurricane. Um, but the first couple weeks that I lived here, as you can see, I never got a divider. I was thinking about getting one and I actually, I'm glad that I don't because I like that it's open. But the first few weeks, it was hard to get used to sleeping in such an open space because if you're sleeping in a regular bedroom and you hear something or, I don't know, something catches your eye or whatnot, you can kind of ignore it and roll over and and go back to sleep but in a studio like it's really distracting if that makes any sense to kind of go to sleep and anytime you open your eyes you're like wow I'm in the middle of my house um, so that was kind of hard but I'm, I'm used to it now the other thing that was difficult let me kind of pan around hey Salem a couple of you are worried about his weight in his last video because he was hanging off the sink. Um, I'll have you know he's on a diet now. It hasn't been very successful so far, but I'm working on it. Um, so one of the other negatives, uh, which could just be a personal issue for me, is if you see a cockroach, um, like I have twice in the last couple of weeks, uh, typically when I would see one before, I would scream and cry and... Uh, run and hide and then about 30 minutes later I would find it and kill it um, and then for a couple days afterwards I wouldn't go back to the room that I found it in and you can't do that when you live in a studio so I have had um, two roaches recently both in the kitchen area and it was really really gross um, and I was kind of on edge the, the couple days afterwards um, so that kind of sucks um, let me think if there's anything else oh so the only other kind of negative is and I actually like this, that is my, my Kurg. Um, when I first moved in, I had to get rid of about 50% of the stuff that I owned in order to make everything fit. And it was really purging and I really liked it and it's kind of forced minimalism. But then I never really thought through that no matter what, as long as I'm living here, whenever I buy something, I have to get rid of something else in order to make room for it. So even if it's like clothes or DVDs, um, Everything is, is packed in here so tightly and so precisely that if I buy anything new, I have to donate something else to make room for it. Um, as you can even see with like my books piling up over there. Um, so those are the only kind of negatives. And even then, they're not really negatives. It's just kind of having to adjust to things. Um, overall, I really love it. I love the fact that I can clean my entire house in less than 10 minutes. It's pretty fantastic. Um, I can burn one candle and the whole house smells delicious. Uh, so that's awesome. Um, kitchen can be kind of hard to cook in and there's no dishwasher so those dishes that you see in the sink they're actually clean um, but I have to put them in this like drying rack oh and the trash can like the mop and the broom that drives me nuts I hate having them out in the open but there's just nowhere else to put them uh, but that's first world problems so I get used to it so there we go um, if you guys have any questions at all please just comment and let me know I love um, answering them as I can and trying to help you out um, say hi Salem. 
say we've got you on a strict diet and an exercise program. Um, that's one other thing I will mention is that Salem has definitely had to adjust to living here. Uh, the last place that I lived at was a two bedroom apartment and so he had a lot of room to run around in and I can tell that he did kind of get kind of depressed acting, um, just wasn't quite as active because it's hard to be active in here. I mean, he really can't run around very much. Um, thankfully, I have this incredible window uh, with this tree outside, so every day I open it up for him and he watches the birds and stuff, and I play with him, but it was kind of hard for him, I think, at the beginning um, to not have his space anymore, but we're both used to it, aren't we, Salem Pants? You're a good cat today. Okay, so that's about it. Like I said, nothing else has changed. Uh, there we go. I love it. I'm really happy I moved in, and I hope you guys enjoyed the little update. And as always, let me know if you have any questions. Um, and I thank you for watching. Say bye, Salem. Bye.